everybody happy friday it's payday let's see how much money i'm going to have left from today's paycheck to put towards debt over the last week or two, I came across a video by Ryan Scriber or Scriber. I'm not sure how to say his name, but I'll link it down below. Five steps to take on payday. I was thinking, do I do these things? So I watched the video and no, <laughs> I don't follow his five steps, but I thought, you know, it's summertime. I have some extra time on my hands. So why the heck not? I'm going to try to follow his steps and see how it might influence my budget to help me reach my financial goals. Before I get into that though, I do want to update my spreadsheet since the last time I updated it earlier this week in the Transfer Tuesday video. Uh, so if you want to see all of my crazy spending, go check out that video when you're done with this video. Let's just go back here. I spent $9.64 on a lunch, so I'm going to add, the, oh, I already did add that here. So I'm at $2.19 for fun money spending for the month. And then I also spent $3.61 at Dunkin' Donuts. So I'm just going to round this up to 225 because I like nice round numbers. I also spent just today, and we'll get into that in a minute, $43.19 on gas. And yes, yeah, sometimes my husband pays for my gas. He even pumps it for me. He's so amazing. But today well I'll, i'm getting ahead of myself we'll get into why i pay for my own gas and even pumped it myself today that is i think everything that needs to be updated yes so let's get to today's income my regular salary i expect 1461 dollars and today i earned $1,516.80 net. That includes all of my deductions plus a small stipend. So one of the small stipends that I get is covering classes when there's no teacher to cover that class. There's a huge substitute shortage. There's a teacher shortage. And when a teacher was out, they would take us from our prep to cover the other class and did give us a very small stipend for our time. But I do also wanna say that that meant I worked like all day with only a 15 minute lunch break. Technically a 30 minute lunch break, but to take the kids to class and pick them up at the end of their lunch, like you get 15 minutes and you're lucky if it's not interrupted by something or having to do something. Anyway, so many days, I work straight through without any kind of a break. <sighs> Those were long days, but I'm on summer vacation now and soaking up every last minute of relaxation that I can before my summer work starts. <laughs> anyway, you guys didn't want to hear all that, but my income, my paycheck was $1,516. And then I got my one stipend today for let's see team leader yep that was 441 dollars and two cents after all the deductions and we got the second half of our retention bonus that came out to 406 dollars this is the first year that we had a retention bonus they gave us 500 dollars at christmas time which kicked off me paying down my car debt and the second half of the bonus today. There is my income. I have $2,363 to work with today. And man, I wish that was my income every paycheck. <laughs> Back to the video, the five steps to take on your payday or when you get your paycheck. The first step is to pay yourself. It was said in the video that people usually pay themselves between five and 20% in savings and investments. So we're gonna skip down to the savings part of my spreadsheet here. Usually I do that last 
Now we're gonna start doing it second after income. Instead of transferring $25, I'm going to transfer $50. I also updated my transfer to transfer $50 every time uh, from now until the end of the year. And I'll get into that more when I get into the video on um, going to the financial planner, which you'll see probably in like a week or two. Step two is to fill your car with gas on payday. And I did just that. The reason behind that is it's a larger expense and why not top off your gas tank when you have the cash before you spend that money and end up having to put it on a credit card or maybe borrow from somebody. And I, I thought, okay, well, I'm going to do that. And I did. It was $43.19 that we already added on here under gas. Step three, I kind of am thinking about new kids on the block. Step three. I forget what step three was. What was step three? I gotta look this up. Step by step. N-K-T-O-B. Lyrics. This is what you guys are expecting in a budget video. Step by step, ooh baby. Okay, where are the steps? Step three, it's just you and me. Gosh, I couldn't remember that. Okay, step three is grocery shopping. <laughs> the reason that this is step three is that grocery shopping is a huge part of the budget. And so why not get it done and out of the way while you have your cash on payday? Now, I will tell you this, I had intended to go shopping today and I was gonna take you guys along with me, but when I was on my way home from the financial planner yesterday, I went by the grocery store and thought, let me go while I'm here. It's about maybe like five or six miles from my house. So I was saving myself a trip across town and the time since I was right there. So saving gas and time, win-win, got what I needed. I spent $55, but my husband paid for it. So it's not gonna be in my budget. And I got enough food for, I think, uh-oh, was it four, four dinners and leftovers for me to have for lunch the next day and like enough for more than just a couple of dinners. Like for example, there was sausage and peppers, but it's really more for like four servings so two dinners one for me one for my husband lunch the next day for myself and then either lunch if it's my husband's day off or an extra dinner for one of us so you know like a little extra i i thought that like 55 dollars for all those dinners is a really good um a good price step four is entertainment and preferably in cash. So Ryan suggests taking out cash and using the cash envelope system for entertainment. And you guys, if you have been here, you know that I don't do the cash envelope system. In fact, I do have a video on why I won't use the cash envelope system, which <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and redo because let me just show you. Here's a wallet that I've had for so many years, but it is still good. So until it doesn't work anymore, I'm gonna keep it, save my money. But I took out $80, 20, 40, 60, 80. So this is going to be my cash to spend over the next two weeks. I can spend this money on anything I want to spend it on. If we go out to eat, if I'm going out to lunch, if I want to buy something, if I don't want to spend it and I just want to keep it in my wallet, I could do that too. So this is my entertainment fund of $80. What am I going to do with this money if I don't spend it in two weeks? Will I give myself another $80? Will I put this in my change jar, which is, let's see if I can 
right here with the red lid on it for my savings challenge. At this point, I have no idea. And what I can say is I do have a few trips coming up this summer. So maybe anything I don't spend will just be spending money for that trip. I don't know. This is so new to me. I'm not used to carrying cash. Uh, and I haven't carried cash in a very long time. And uh, we'll just see what happens. I, I definitely will update you guys with whatever, whatever spending I do or saving I do or whatever. I will definitely update you guys. <laughs> what do you think I should do? Like with any of the funds that are left over by the next paycheck, should I keep them for the next two weeks? Should I cash them into or put that into savings? Should I just keep it in my wallet and give myself another $80? Or if I have 20 left, only give myself $60? Anyway, I could just keep on going here. If you have any ideas, drop it down below and let me know. And our final step, step number five, <laughs> is to pay off debt. And we all know about that. So I'm not going to get into that any further. So that's how I'm changing things up a little bit. Now we're going to go back to my expenses to fill in. So this is our second pay for the month. $400 goes to the shared account for utilities and mortgage. $261 is for a loan that comes out every paycheck. $54 for union dues. And uh, this is the last paycheck for union dues for the 21-22 school year. The 22-23 school year dues will not start until the second pay in October. So that gives me July, August, September. It gives me eight pays with an extra $53 in change, which is amazing. And will come in handy when I get into my financial planner uh, video. I'll be talking about that more. Okay, then let's see. We already, there's no federal loan payment. We already paid the private student loan, paid the Perkins loan. Car payment is $385 and change. Insurance, life insurance, which we'll also get into later in the financial planner video. Uh, that's $28 and then car insurance is $68 credit card payment I already made the credit card payment for the month so that is going to be a whopping zero here and extra car payment will come back to gas I just filled up my tank which should be enough to get me through the next two weeks because I'm not going to work every day. I do have some um, small assignments I'll be going to next week but uh, it's not every single day. Then my fun money which is in my wallet in the form of cash so I'm not putting anything there. Of course I have my savings that we already talked about. Whew. All right, so let's go down here. For today's paycheck, uh, the second paycheck in June, my total income with my base income, my regular salary, plus a bunch of stipends was $2,363 after all of the taxes and deductions. I have $1,197 in expenses. I'm wondering why, oh yeah, okay, we're good. Um, I don't have anything listed for spending because I'll be doing that in cash. And then $50 will go towards savings, which means I have $1,116 left. I am not sending all of that to the car yet. Let's take a look at which of these expenses have cleared. So my income has cleared that has been deposited also i did make this 400 dollars transfer and the 261 dollars has come out the union dues have not come out they probably won't come out till next week because monday is a federal holiday so we'll see that next week my car payment has come out 
And my life insurance also has come out. Then the last thing is my car insurance will come out on the 20th, which is Monday, I think. Sunday or Monday? Monday, which is a federal holiday. So that won't come out until Tuesday. It's fine. And then the $50 transfer has also not come out. If you're new here and you are interested in using my spreadsheet, it's super simple. That's why I offer it for free. You can find that in the description down below. I do want to mention that this negative $172 does not mean that my bank account is negative $172. That means I have $172 of whatever that needs to clear from my budget. So what I can do is say, what's in my bank account? Let's say there's uh, $250 in my bank account that I can see as a balance. Now I put that in under the green checking balance, 250. The amount that I need to have that has to clear for my checking account is the $172. So that tells me if I needed to, I would have $78 to spend. Now I do have more than that available in my checking account, but as I'll get into with the financial planner video that is coming up and probably next Friday, I'm not sure, it'll be in the next week or two, watch for that video because I'm going to be explaining a little bit more as to why I'm not putting any more money towards my car today. If you're new here, normally I would say, oh, well I could take that $78 and put it towards my car but I'm not doing that and I'll get into that in another video. <laughs> All right, so that looks like everything. All right, well, let me tell you what's coming up and if you like any of the topics that are coming up, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. You can come along on this debt-free journey with me, not only watching how I'm paying down my debt, but building up my wealth and losing weight. We have Transfer Tuesday coming out on Tuesday where I share how I'm moving my money, what money is coming from my reselling business and my other online streams and um, how I'm paying using that to pay down debt or putting to savings. Then we're going to have a Way in Wednesday video. On Wednesday, I have been off track and I needed to get back on track badly, so I have done that. I'm going to share that with you on Wednesday. And then at some point, either next week or the following week, I'll share about the financial planner conversation I had. It was amazing. It was a two-hour appointment. So I have lots to share with that. And the last thing I want to say is don't forget to hydrate. Actually... I need to go fill my cup with water. I hope you're reaching your financial goals that you're setting for yourself. Feel free to share them down in the comments below. That's all I have for today, folks. I will see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>